Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple muzzle flesh. The result is very simplistic. And it is a very easy and quick process to iterate over to get the result you like. In the next part, I'm going to create the muzzle flesh effect in Affinity Designer. You can use any software you want, or you can simply download the result I'm making right now from the description below if you want to simply skip this section. So I'll start by removing the background. So I'll go to Document Setup, and I'm going to go to Color and set Transparent Background to be true. Now we have Transparent Background, but I do want something to work over, so I'm going to simply take a rectangle and use it as a background that we can very easily remove when we want. So this would be our background. I'm now going to add a pixel layer and I'm going to work on this one. So the process is very simple. Let's go to the pixel persona. Take uh, just uh, some regular brush. Let's go to basic brushes and let's just pick something normal. And I want to paint with white. I'll, I'm going to take uh, my mouse and simply draw this almost a rectangle and try to make it big and I'm going to just simply continue filling everything until we have this rectangle filled. Now I'm going to go to the eraser tool and I'm going to select a, an eraser that has some texture so let's go to textures and let's simply select something like this and let's reduce the size significantly maybe something no that's too small maybe something like this and now I can s simply start to erase everything and just try to make it so that there aren't any rough edges and what I like to create is something wide in the on the left side and narrow in the right side so let's create this and as I said just try to make sure there's no hard edges but again after we'll finish you'll see that this process is so fast that you can uh, create anything right now and change it very quickly in the future so yeah something like this this is a nice flash this is going to be the flash uh, that is aimed forward and now I'm going to go to effects I'm going to uh, go to outer glow and mark it as true and outer glow and inner glow which are the two functions we are using are also present in Photoshop uh, but I'm pretty sure that uh, every editing software you are using will have this type of function available so I'm going to create for the outer glow some orange color and I'm going to increase the radius and I don't want it to be too intense but I want some orange glow around now let's go to inner glow uh, I'm going to set, set it to normal because I want it to be over the white color. We are, we are using white in the, in the center, so if we're not going to mark it as normal, it's not going to show. Now let's change it to something yellow. And let's again increase the radius. Maybe reduce the intensity slightly. We want it to really fill the, the inside. And yeah, so this is the first effect. Uh, I'm pretty worried that it is going to clip here, so I'll, I'll just take the eraser again and erase some more. Just so that we won't have any clipping. And when I say clipping, I mean that uh, in the game we're, we'll see some sudden stop in our flesh. We want it to slowly disappear. So this is why I'm making sure no hard edges and nothing touching the edge. So when we're finished, we can simply select this entire layer and I'm going to scale it down a little bit and put it in the lower half of this texture. And by the way, this is 512 by 512. I'm going uh, with something um, small so we can use it in, uh, in a game uh, very efficiently. Now I want to create the part that go to the sides. So let's uh, do the same process again. We can hide this layer, create a new pixel layer. Select the brush, go to something very basic, the, the, the 32 one was good. Select white again, and now I'm going to create this uh, rectangle in the center. 
and again you shouldn't stress too much about the shape first of all because um, when you make mistakes like this you sometimes find out uh, nice effects uh, just by mistake um, but uh, again as I said it's pretty quick to create a new one and see if you like it or not so now we take the eraser the same thing again and I like to create um, let, let's do for this effect something I'm going to mark the the, the, the general shape something like this but you can do uh, pointy uh, flashes uh, you can do something stylistic like this I know a lot of people like to do this effect something like this but I'll do uh, my own my own thing And that's it. Uh, you can probably create, um, you know, fire effects w like this, uh, smoke effects if you use gray colors. Uh, it's a very nice method. So we are go going to scale this down again. And now let's look at let, let's now let's show the other uh, one we did. So let's put this in the center and scale it up a little bit. And now we have this texture ready to be used. All we need to do is export this to a PNG file. So I'm going to hide the rectangle, which is the background, because I don't want a black rec uh, background. I'm going to export. And I'm going to save it in Downloads under Muzzle Flash. And I'm just going to rewrite the previous one I made when I tested this. So now we need to create a model. So I'm going to boot up Blender. So I'm using Blender 2.9. Let's select everything, delete it. And now we are going to add a plane. We are going to scale it by X. We want it to be half, so it, it's going to be two by one. And we are going to press Shift D to duplicate, press right click to keep it in place, and now rotate Y 90 degrees. And now we have this plus symbol. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to move it so that the X, the edge is going to be on the origin. So let's do that. Let's do uh, select everything and now press G, Y and 1 and now it's sitting on the origin. Now I want to add the flashes to the side so let's press shift A and add another mesh. Let's rotate X 90 and now we have it aligned with our plus. I'm going to scale it down by a lot and then I'm going to look at it from the side and I'm going to rotate X slightly. Let's do a set number let's say 30 degrees or sorry negative 30 degrees and now let's move it up so that it touches the origin that's great now we can shift D to duplicate right click to leave it in place and now we're going to set the rotation point to the 3d cursor because it's in the center of the world and we are going to press rotate in the y-axis 180 degrees and now we have those two to the side and now I can select any edge from the first face press press control L and it's going to select everything and now I can do shift D to duplicate right click to leave in place and then rotate Y but this time 90 degrees and now we have this muzzle effect now we have the model, let's use the image we just created to texture it. So let's add a new material. Go to base color, create, click on image texture, and then click open, go to downloads, and go to muzzle flash where we saved it. Now uh, we're going to open the UV editing space, and we can see that um, without the UV unwrapping, it looks very weird. So let's start fixing this. And that's it. Uh, now after I fix, I fix the UVs, everything looks properly. What we can do is go back to our layout, select our model, and then export it as OBJ file. So export as OBJ, and I'm going to go to my project. And as you see, I have one muzzle flash object uh, from 
when I did the testing for this tutorial. Now let's uh, save it as Muzzle Flesh 2. And export. Now we can go back to Godot. And this is the project I, I used to show you in the on intro. So it is comprised of this room with some lighting, uh, my, def my uh, uh, custom FPS controller, and the gun here with the muzzle flesh. So as you can see, the muzzle flesh is simply an object we are going to create uh, with an audio stream player. So let's go and uh, create the muzzle flesh. So in a new scene, I'm going to uh, add this spatial material. I'm going to call it uh, better muzzle flesh because we are making it together. So it's going to be better. Sorry about that. Better flesh. And I'm going to add a mesh instance. And I'm going to call it graphics. And add our new model. So let's go to assets, model, and muzzle flesh 2. So here it is. This is our muzzle flesh. Now we need to create the material. So we are going to go to the material uh, field, create a new spatial material, and go to flags, use the transparent flag because we have transparent background, go to parameters, and we want call mode to be disabled. We want to be able to see the flesh from all directions. And now you can see, uh, I'll show you what it does. Let's go to, if I just press on back, you can see that the model, look at this face over here. So I can see him from this angle, but not from this angle. So. If I turn this to disabled, I can see from all directions our model. And now we need to set the albedo. So we'll go to the albedo tab. And we are going to go to images. And we can take the muzzle flash PNG we created for this tutorial. And by just putting it uh, under the albedo, you can already see it look it's starting to look like a muzzle flash and what i also like to do is go to emission turn it to enabled and use the same texture as the emission texture and now you can see it's lighting up everything so this is our muzzle flash now we're going to do some uh, more creative stuff and let's add an only light put it slightly before everything uh, i'm going to turn the light color to be uh, this yellow that i like and I'm going to uh, set it to have a pretty big range, let's say something like 10 meters. And um, let's do 1.2 with the energy. I want it to be strong light when uh, the gun fires, but you can change it uh, to however you like. I'm going to add an animation player. I'm going to add a new animation called Fire. And I'm going to start working on it. So I want it to be a very short animation, 0.1. Let's, uh, we are zoomed in. Um, I will need to change the snap to something that I can work with. So let's do 0 0.001. And now we can change uh, on this small scale. So first of all, I want that the, uh, the graphics and the lights uh, should be not visible. So let's set this. So let's set keyframes for this. And I want the first, I want to see the light. So let's go and go to OmniLight, set visible to true, and set the keyframe. And on the next frame, only on the next frame, I want the muzzle flesh to appear. So again, let's go to visibility. Let's, sorry, select the graphics, go to visibility, and do a keyframe here. And I want the light to not stay the entire duration of the animation. So I want it to just really quickly flash. So let's go to OmniLight, set visible to false, and keyframe it again. Now the only other thing I like doing is taking uh, the uh, graphics. And on the very first frame, I want the scale of it to be something very small. and use a keyframe for the scale and now when we first show our muzzle flesh I'm going to do another keyframe and then I'm going to make it increase in size uh, not for the entire duration of the animation I want it to be at maximum size for at least a couple of beats so now let's rescale 
and keyframe it again and now let's go to the last part of our animation and we need to set graphics to be invisible at the end and now we can look at this let's play reset or maybe let's do it looping just for a second and let's look at it okay so it seems to be uh, working I'm going to shut down make sure that looping is shut down and now we can start using this better flesh so let's save it um, under muzzle flesh yeah why not and now let's go to our world scene and I'm going to go to our HK416 and I'm going to add the better sorry better flesh and I'm going to change the audio stream player position and I'm going to delete our old muzzle flesh and I'm going to change the name so that everything in the scene would look similar and all my coding would hold and now we can already play it I just need to make sure let's hide the room for a second and go to top view I want to make sure that our muzzle flesh is at the edge of the gun and I'm gonna zero the location of our Uja stream player excellent and that's it let's just for a second see that the muzzle flesh itself is at the appropriate size oh, I guess we'll we'll have to find out the hard way so let's show the room again let's play the let's play the our little testing So first of all you can see it's facing the wrong direction and it's pretty small so let's fix all these problems. So let's rotate so that it faces the correct orientation and we can set the scale to be much bigger so let's go to transform and let's scale it up let's say to 3. And now let's play it again. You probably caught that uh, I forgot to uh, hide it as a default but you can see that now it looks pretty good you can see that the room is lighting up and with the sound and from well I guess from this direction it looks horrible but I'm, I'm leaving it to some more artistically capable people to create some better looking f muzzle flashes so thank you very much for tuning in for uh, another tutorial of mine. Uh, I'm going to have a video about my Ludum Dare um, entry, which is doing pretty well, uh, uh, actually, uh, which is uh, extremely surprising to me. Um, so if you if you would like to watch it, uh, please subscribe. It's uh, a, a great morale boost for me uh, for creating these videos. So thank you very much and have a nice day.